Hello, chaps and chapasses. Uh, welcome to episode two of the MK Maker One video series that could go on for I don't know how long. It's obviously a work in progress. What I'd like to do is just cover some of the things that may not have been very clear last time. What I was showing you was the basis of this frame that uh, you can see here. I'm packing this area here. This is 3D printed plastic, um, so it's much easier, or much cheaper rather, to produce 3D printed plastic than it is to buy this fancy uh, 2020 extrusion made of aluminium. Um, now, Tech2C's uh, Hypercube was using the 2020 uh, extrusion and some comparatively expensive uh, nuts and bolts to bolt it all together. And I'm just trying to just shave every penny away if I can and still make it good. That's that's kind of my thinking. And so that's where I came up with the, the idea of, how, you know, if we had these kind of bits that would slot into the 2020 extrusion, give us a nice, I think quite cute looking block cube at each corner then that's a bit of metal we don't have to have. And I'm, you know, I'm hoping that it will be strong enough. So that's, that's what that first episode was really looking at. <laughs> so what I'd like to cover in this episode is, so why are we actually bothering to design yet another 3D printer? Does the world need another 3D printer? Hasn't it all been done before? And to a certain extent, yes. So you, certainly, um, this isn't going to be as cheap as some cheap options out there. You can get a kit from China and build yourself a 3D printer and away you go. And, you know, people often say, oh, you don't want to reinvent the wheel. But actually, uh, there is huge benefit in reinventing the wheel. You might discover a new process or a new way of doing things and you will certainly learn uh, along the way. And that's really why I'm doing this. So it's, it's largely for my own pleasure. Uh, but also I've, I have got some ideas that are a little bit different. So in this diagram you can see that there is a threaded rod at each corner here. Oh, tut tut, threaded rod. No, I shouldn't be calling it threaded rod. It's a lead screw. Um, Although, in my case, it would probably be threaded rod, just to keep things cheap. So, what drives the four lead screws? Well, it could be four NEMA 17 stepper motors. Um, but to keep the price down, um, at this stage, I'm trying the idea of having one stepper motor that drives a belt, that then drives the lead screws that can raise the build platform. So, that's a different way of doing the Z or Z drive a leg at each corner as it were of the build platform seems like a good idea to me um, so that's um, a different approach than I think I've ever seen before um, maybe it'll have problems but I think that there will be some advantages uh, in leveling so for instance obviously if you were able to raise this corner and this corner at the same time it would tilt it towards the front um, and equally you know whichever you, know, you can pick two corners obviously the downside is you could raise one corner and leave the other three behind and thus distort the board um, but equally that that can you know provide you've got good measuring abilities and there you know there are things out there and sort of laser distance measuring things to perhaps look at that may be a way forward and by the way if you're an old shape designer and you want to get involved that's fantastic i'll share the uh, plans with you and get involved you know come up with new designs tweak it fiddle with it come up with suggestions um you know very much want this to be interactive and you you get stuck in you tell me what you think works what you tell me and tell me what you think doesn't work and tell me i'm an idiot to my face and tell me why that's always the thing tell me why and then i can perhaps deal with it so that's where my thinking is at the moment i have actually moved on with the frame um and more of that in an episode coming soon <laughs>